Yo, have you seen The Wrestler yet? I did, dude. It was great. Great movie, dude. Pretty fucking accurate. DJ was all over that movie. Fuck. Wasn't he? Why doesn't this write anymore? You know what made me sad about that movie? Oh. This is like, uh, you know, he had his dramatic rise and then this is like 20 years later, like his rock bottom. Hit yeah. Him. His rock bottom is a whole lot like my, uh, you know. Rising up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too, yeah. I identify with, like, dude, my favorite part was when he got all yammed up and banged that, banged that rat outside of Jersey All-Pro. That was awesome. That was fucking cool, man. The, what, a, what a great soundtrack, too. Like, all the quiet riot with the rat and... All those songs that were on there? Yeah. That was good shit, dude. Marissa Tomei's titties. It looked like she got like legit views from the part. I oh, forget how to spell my name. I never felt in watching that movie. I never felt like, man, this is really fake. I always felt like, okay, maybe it's it's slightly exaggerated in certain senses. Like it's supposed to be dramatic. I understand that. But um, I felt like the the gist of it was was very accurate. You know what I mean? Absolutely. By large, and the non-wrestling acting parts were even just as good as not greater. Like when he's telling, like, like when he's telling his daughters, like, I'm all broken down, dude. He's like, I'm all broken down, piece of me. I deserve to be alone, so I just don't want you to hate me. Yep. And it's really, wow. It's the the, uh, the Springsteen song, I thought, was, was absolutely Damn. perfect for it. Dead. Dead on, dude. If, you, if you've ever seen a one-trick pony, Maybe that's me, which is the which is the primary line in the chorus, and then of course he, he buries it. But like, how much sense does that make? Like, yeah. What what uh, what do you besides besides wrestling? What what do you do that that you're really into that you're really like? Because I don't do shit, dude. Uh, aside from wrestling, I got nothing. Well, basically, it's too much for me. And and that and that's that's what the movie was about too. Like it was about a dude who really. That's what he wants to do. He, he loved it and he had nothing else. You know what I mean? That's all he had that he, that he that's all he had that meant that meant something that did something for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like in the, he, he, and I, I loved it when he looked he looked up at the end and Marissa Tomei wasn't there at the curtain. Fuck, like, that was so sad. He's like, he's like, man, that sucks. I'm still doing the round gym. Yeah. This is you what know, I do. You know this, what? This is my fucking thing. You know what I like right before that, right before he went out, he looked at her, he said, he said, I'm okay. He said, listen, he said, the only place I get hurt is out there. Yep. He said, I get hurt. He goes, okay. He goes, I'm going to work. He says, she said, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to work. Out in front of the crowd, dude. Yeah. He said, it's where I belong. He said, it's where I belong. I thought that was just a really incredible. Um, Bobby Dempsey was in the background. Incredible way to capture the business and to capture the real feelings behind it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. True. It was very true. It, it, it was sad. Was I sad? Yeah, absolutely. Good story, though. But, 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 realistically sad. Yeah, I get all fucked up and I work hard. And I start bleeding and the blood hits the floor right by you. It makes you smile and clap. Yeah, and I, and that, make, that, in turn, makes me happy that I made you happy. That yeah, song was wonderful, dude. Yeah. And, and not only was the song wonderful, but it, it fit the movie and it fit the mood perfectly. And I'm, I'm really thrilled that a movie was made that focused on what we do, that didn't, like, I, part of me wants to, it was like, very respectful too. part of me wants to write a letter to Darren Aronofsky and say, sir, I just want to say thank you, because you didn't make fun of what we do, like, you, 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 you were, you were, like, very open about how, took it a serious matter, how corny and stupid it is, yeah, but you also, you also, you really did a hell of a job of portraying like the love and the and the and the, and the care that goes into passion. The, yeah, the passion that goes into being a professional wrestler. He did a really good job of showing that and of portraying that. I don't think he made fun of wrestling once. No, well, like it was very respectful. He, he he definitely like he was realistic about wrestling, and sometimes it is some it is something yeah. that you, that you hate. Like sometimes you just fucking hate being a wrestler. Right? Like, shit, the, shit the way, some of the things that go on with it. I mean, but, but I'm, like some of the like you know, low life drug addict, whatever you can call it, whatever. But I you know, oh Shamrock, dude. I really felt that they were really respectful, but I don't think they ever once really made fun of wrestling, and that that made me really fucking happy. Exactly. Really, I love how uh, he um, how he quit his shoot job and, and toward the end he just, uh, uh, fuck, fuck. He still, 
Fuck it. You know what else I thought was very realistic that I like? Okay, like, uh, throughout the movie, when he's walking around in real life, he'll, like, when he walks by a post or a tree, he'll fucking form a... Like, and that's how I am in real life. Like, yeah. when I'm walking through my neighborhood, I'm, I'm walking my I'm walking my sister or whatever, I go by a tree, that tree's getting clothes on. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, when I, I used to, when I worked a shoot job, at the, like, I'd fucking, I know, i sit there and fucking work the post the fucking wall, shit like that, cut promos. It was very well researched and very well put yeah. I was I was I was really happy with. I heard that I heard like Aronofsky like he 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 he's been like in the process of making it for like years. Yeah. Well, Aronofsky did a lot of good shit, dude. Like I was a huge fan of Pi. I don't think you probably ever saw it, but I, I haven't seen Requiem either. No. 